What is life like as a full-time nature filmmaker? This summer I have moved one step closer to that goal. My day-to-day -day work consists of corporate photography and videos and graphic design, but there is a growing demand for my nature videos. This summer has been a busy time for me, as I need to get variety of video footage of Finnish nature. Landscapes, animals, lakes, forests, and all types of weather. May is good time to feel groves and other woodlands and their birds before the vegetation explodes. Birds are active all day and their songs fill the forests. This year, however, spring arrived late here in the north. Many songbirds did not arrive until mid-June. In midsummer, I filmed birds from a rubber boat for the first time in a long time. I decided to see if it would be possible to photograph waterfowl using flip screen by holding the camera on the surface of the water. This proved to be difficult. The focusing is hard and you need a properly balanced rig and external monitor. But that would be all too much stuff for my taste. I like to keep things simple. A floating hide 
would certainly be a better option. You don't get very close to the birds with a rubber boat. If you photograph birds from a distance, from the surface of the water, the image will be soft because of the warm air. So you have to get closer to the birds. On the other hand, that is also a nice effect on video. I found that it's better to wait on the edge of the reeds. Some waterfowl were still confused and didn't dare to come close. But it's nice to sit in rubber boats and watch the reed buntings gathering insects for their chicks. Summer mornings are beautiful here in the north. The only downside of these mornings is that the night's sleep is so short. The sun rises as early as 4 a.m.
I prefer to shoot at sunset. Here in the north, the sun sets slowly, and beautiful light can last for hours. Taking macro photos is meditative. Time passes quickly, and suddenly it's already time to go to bed. And soon it'll be autumn, and I'm already looking forward to new adventures of autumn.